So this is my generator. It powers my whole construction site. Uh, I got it used for about $285, which is about 40% of the cost of buying a new one. The other day I had adjusted the throttle setting and I accidentally let the engine race for about one second. I got the engine running well now, but suddenly there's no electricity to show for it. This little voltage meter here isn't showing anything at all from these plugs. The first thing I'll check are these fuses. Maybe they're blown. I'll quickly remove the screws that hold on the wiring cover. These little fuse units are supposed to be resettable, but sometimes they blow out completely. They are the easiest to test and replacing them only costs about 10 bucks. So let's just unplug this from the generator. I'll use my multimeter to check for resistance. If it's working properly, it should let the electricity through without any resistance. But today, I'm hoping that this is the problem, so I'd like to see infinite resistance so I know that this is why my thing's not working. But nope. Almost no resistance, so this isn't the problem. Let's put it back. The next place to check is the back end of the alternator, so let's get this cover off. I expected to find an AVR, an automatic voltage regulator, in here. Those are a lot harder to test, and they cost more than $100 to replace. But actually, since this is a brushless alternator, I find this capacitor instead. The test here is simple. You can take it off to test the voltage between the wires, and you should expect to see about 5 volts. I'm just going to leave it on because it's easier for my little alligator clips. I set my multimeter to voltage AC. That's the V with the little sign curve squiggle over it. And then we start it up. The first thing to note is that the rotor in the alternator is turning. That's a good sign. The multimeter here shows just under 5 volts. Close enough. It means the alternator is working perfectly, and it's the capacitor that needs to be replaced. This one is covered in a layer of rust, so I can't even read anything on it. I ended up checking on the internet to find the right one for my generator, a 40 microfarad 370 VAC generator capacitor. The genuine Porter cable part costs $60. However, this GenTech knockoff only costs $16 with delivery. Its physical dimensions are a little different, it's a bit longer. But it has the same properties, 40 microfarads and 370 VAC. It also claims it has a 60,000 hour life, and like the much more expensive OEM product, it's also self-extinguishing, so I won't die in a terrifying fireball if it ever fails. It looks like it just fits. Now let's test it. can't really see it here, but my little voltage tester is chirping and flashing as much as it can. Thumbs up. Let's put everything back. So this new capacitor is doing its job in releasing a charge into the windings to get them excited so the alternator will produce electricity. The previous one was also doing its job when it blew out during my accidental power surge to protect all the electronics downstream. 